Mappy here. I've got a super exciting video for you today. Behind this wall is a full-size FA-18 fighter jet. And here's the exciting part. You're gonna learn all about this type of jet from a guy who is not just a Top Gun pilot, but he's the guy who trained the Top Gun pilots. This is exciting, let's go inside. <laughs> Today, we're here with Neil, and he's a Top Gun pilot. How are you, Neil? I'm very well, thanks. Good to meet you. So, Neil, before we look at the features of the Hornet, can you tell us a bit about yourself and what role you played in the Air Force? Yeah, sure. Uh, I joined through the Air Force Academy. After pilot's course, I came here to Williamtown and uh, trained on the Mirage 3. After the Mirage was being withdrawn from service, I uh, trained on the F-18 here. My last four years, wow. I was the commander of the F-18 training squadron here. So how many flight hours have you done on the Hornet? Uh, the F-18, over my 17 years, I got about uh, 1,500 hours. And uh, on the Mirage, I got uh, about 2,100 hours. Right, you ready for this? We're about to go through all the exciting features in this F-18 Hornet. Okay, Neil, should we start from the front and work our way back? Yeah, absolutely. So what do we have here? Uh, that's the M61 cannon. It can be used both for an air-to-air -air role, for shooting down enemy aircraft, or yep. can be used for uh, engaging ground targets. Uh, the gun is actually mounted up here in the fuselage. Another feature you might be interested in is uh, formation lights here. So at night time, there's just a uh, dull green glow comes out of that. So the aircraft flying in close formation can see that. Any hostile aircraft that might be a mile or so away, the light isn't bright enough for them to be able to see that. The markings here denote each time the uh, aircraft actually dropped a weapon. The uh, aircraft was designed for the US Navy for operations from aircraft carriers. As such, it has a very sturdy undercarriage, as you can see, much more sturdy than uh, the typical land-based aeroplane's undercarriage. It also has folding wingtip to reduce oh. the uh, space that the aeroplane takes up on the aircraft carrier deck and in the hangar on the aircraft carrier. Most people would mistake this as a missile, but it's actually a fuel tank. Yeah, that's right. It carries uh, 2,200 pound of fuel. If the pilot okay. needs to jettison the tank, there's actually an explosive charge in the carrier up here. So why would you drop it off the airplane? Like you're about to lose the dogfight, and you might jettison it just to um, improve the performance of the airplane. Yeah, an unusual feature of the airplane is the wing fence on the leading edge extension up here. When the aeroplane was operating at high angle of attack during manoeuvres, the vortex coming off the leading edge extension here was going right over the vertical tails and uh, they were moving quite a lot. So the idea of this was it moved the position of the vortexes a little and um, reduced the movement of the vertical tail. Can you tell us a bit about these flight controls? Yeah, sure. Um, the flight control system in the aeroplane is very sophisticated and depending on the altitude and the airspeed and the angle of attack at the time, the computer moves whichever flight control would be best suited to perform the manoeuvre that the pilot has asked for. Yeah, why is it sort of shaped like this? The uh, variable area nozzle at the back of the aeroplane here basically opens up or closes yeah. down depending on what thrust setting the pilot has selected. So it basically uh, makes the, the engine as efficient as possible. The thing you see here between the engine is the arrestor hook. Being a carrier aeroplane, um, it needs that for landing aboard the aircraft carrier. That slows the aeroplane from 250 kilometres an hour speed that the aeroplane lands at. It brings the aeroplane to a halt in about probably 300 feet. So what's the fuel burn? This aircraft here carries 10,800 pounds of fuel oh, internally. If you got airborne yes. and you were involved in a dogfight immediately over the airfield after takeoff, then you would use that fuel in less than half an hour. So if you're at full speed with afterburners, how fast are you going to go? Uh, the airplane's Maximum speed is considered to be about Mach 1.8. That's 1.8 times the speed of sound. And that would be 2,000 kilometres an hour. Oh, whoa. Uh, that's what is known as the ASRAM. It stands for Advanced Short Range Air to Air Missile. It's uh, an infrared missile that detects the heat coming out of the target aeroplane. On the pylon under the wing here, we can see a bomb carrier. There's uh, two bombs can be carried on that thing, one on either side. The two weapons we see there are 
guided by GPS. There's an yep. inertial navigation system and a GPS in, incorporated into those weapons. The bombs are about 500 pounds. So here's the infrared target system. This gives the pilot visibility of the ground at night time. Yeah, that's right. Basically, the system uh, can detect very, very small differences in temperature. That basically paints a black and white picture of the ground for the pilot yeah. in the cockpit. Uh, yeah. when he can't see anything at night. The okay. nose here rotates around so he can look out either side and then the little ball on the front here will rotate, rotate back and forward. Sounds like a handy tool. I've seen these flying around the sky, I just never pictured standing underneath one. There's so much height here. Under the wing here we have uh, countermeasures dispensers. We can put out um, chaff which confuses radar-guided missiles or flares that can seduce infrared-guided missiles. So Neil, this is a single-seater aircraft. How do you just jump in here with a trainer not even behind you? Uh, well, the Air Force bought 57 single-seaters like this and they also bought yeah. 18 two-seaters. So when the pilots come here initially to fly the F-18, then their first five or six missions would be flown in one of the two-seaters with an instructor in the back until they're considered safe to uh, operate the aircraft on their own. Then they'd go to a single seater. You gotta come here and check out this full size F-18 Hornet. It's at Fighter World at Williamtown Air Force Base in Newcastle, Australia. Thanks Neil, that was an awesome tour of the aircraft. Well,